Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is a continuation video to our string functions. And in today's video, we are going to learn about min, max, find, find n, and replace functions. So very important functions that you know we might use in real time based on the use case. So I'll be posting the link of previous functions that we have discussed in the description box. Do check out. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So let us get started. So let us start with, I'm going to rename this as string functions and it's our day four, okay? Now min and max, you know, if I ask anyone, they'll tell that, okay, it will give us the maximum number that is possible, that are that is available. Yeah, super. But, you know, when it comes to string functions, how will this behave? This is something that we need to identify. Okay. So for that, I'm simply removing this and this also. Now let us comment this. So min means everyone will know that will return minimum value. So that, that is how it behaves. So if I have give three comma four, we know that three and four are numbers. And based on that, we are going to get the result. Click on apply. So I'm just converting that to be a dimension and I'm just dropping it here. So we got three because three is the minimum value in this three. And uh, because I'm not specifying in quotes, Tableau is treating that as numbers. Now, likewise, I'm trying to pass a string value here. So like I said, tab do I'm giving. And the other string that I'm giving here is developer. So two strings I'm trying to pass here. Now let us see what will be our value here. So it is developer. Why? Because you know here, in terms of your alphabet that is starting first, Tableau will try to find out which one is minimum. Based on that, it will give you the result now in these two b comes first so that is why it is returning developer likewise if i try to give maximum here we will get tableau that is how it returns so which is max of these two strings so this is something that you need to remember the behavior of a string and the behavior behavior of string and number in max and min okay so you need to identify this can be a tricky interview question as well okay so don't forget now next function that we want to see is finding you know something in the string or finding or let us first see uh, replace and then we'll go to find so i'm going to use the replace function here so replace is something, you know, you want to identify some part of your string and then replace it. So if you see here at the bottom here in the tool tip, it is specifying three parts here. So till now we have seen only our string and then search string. But today we have three string, search string and replacement string. Three strings are there. So here what I'm doing is tab blue developer is my string assume okay tableau developer is my string in that developer in that string i am trying to search if developer is there or not so if it is there i am going to replace it with admin simple that is the requirement now now what it does it will try to find out if developer is there in this okay it will try to match the exact search string here if it is there it will replace it with admin. So the result will be tableau admin. That is the expectation. Now you see we got tableau admin. Okay. So if at all you want to give space, you can give add space here. Here it is adding space here. That way we can do. So let us see other example of this. And I'm going to take another example here for the same. But this time let us work it out with respect to our order ID I'm taking. And here my intention is I want to replace this CA with the entire country name. So if I remove or take distinct values, I think we have uh, two to three values here. Let us see that. 
what I'm doing is writing replace function. Okay, replace order ID I'm doing here, comma. I want to search if CA is present or not. If it is present, I want to replace it with Canada. Okay, so I'm closing it and I'm applying. So now if you see the result here, wherever CA is there, it has replaced that with the Canada. Fine, let us scroll down to check what is happening when it is US here. See so for US, it didn't do anything, which means our half operation is working here and for all half are skipping here. But I also want to write a replace function this for this as well. Now what I'm doing is I'm writing another statement on top of this. This time what I'm doing is I'm writing another replace function. But now I am passing this function here. So from this what happens, we are finding or searching for CA and replacing with this Canada. So the US part is left. So now I will pass this string to this replace function. And in this string function, I'm going to search if US is present or not. So if it is present, I want to return American. Now what happens with the first string or with the first replace statement, CA will get replaced. CA will get replaced as Canada and US will be left. And from that second statement, US will search and it will get replaced with America. If I click on apply, see here now it is getting replaced with America. So like that, you can use multiple functions together. So this is the power of functions. So we can handle anything that you need in string using the functions. So that is the power. So you need to understand or get the idea how we can do that. So we will get that idea only when we know that this kind of functions are present or not. So that is why I suggest or encourage try to learn as many functions as you can. Okay, you never know what would be the use case for you. So I'm going to comment. Now, next what I'm doing is I'm using find function here. Find function is again uh, a search function again here. So I'm going to write find. Okay, and I'm going to write tableau. developer so i'm giving space here so this time what i'm doing is i'm trying to find out where is the space in this okay because we have space in between this i'm trying to find out the position of that click on apply so we got eight here okay so now if at all from there like say this is the number that i want to find out uh, let's say from there, I want to take three characters, these three characters. Now, how can I take that? So this will be my position. Okay. Now what I'll do, I'll write simply mid function. Okay. Mid of my order ID. And my starting position is this, whatever the number we are getting from this followed by three digits from there or three characters from there. So what will happen wherever there is a space in this so string or in this uh, Tableau developer, it will try to find out the space and it will return us three. So maybe if I've passed wrong here, let us correct. I'm giving Tableau developer. Let us see the output of this. We are getting from there, I think four. See, using two functions, I'm trying to get something that is in the middle. Okay, dynamically, I'm trying to find out. So this space can be anywhere. So my first string can be of two characters or three characters, it doesn't mind. It will automatically give me that space. So if I take three here, automatically my result will not change here. That is the advantage here. Same likewise, let us use or let us see another example. I am trying to find out 
I'm taking order function. Okay. And I'm trying to find out order ID and I'm trying to find out uh, where is the delimiter here. And because here I have multiple positions, I'm trying to find out where is the first occurrence of that. Okay. And okay. It is order date actually. I'm giving order ID here. Yeah. Let us see what is the result here. So it is giving us a three. Okay. So if I give three means, you see after us, here it is a third, a third position we have hyphen. That is what it is returning. If I give second occurrence and if I click on, it is still giving us uh, this three only. And uh, okay. Now what I want to find out is the first occurrence if I give it is three generally it should take this it should give the this number here the second delimiter oh, did I miss anything in the syntax okay no no so the here the function changes here it is find nth here. So now what I'm doing is second occurrence I'm trying to find out, click on apply. Now it is giving you eight, okay? So now it is very dynamic how you want to find out, okay? So whether you want to take which part of the string, basing on that you can directly use. So I'm using the first occurrence for now and then I'll use, so we got, three here and again I'm using mid function here mid of my order ID okay from that order ID basing on this first function or the first occurrence of delimiter I need four positions from there let us see what will be our result so we are getting hyphen here so maybe uh, I need to take um, if I take five here, it is two, we are getting year here. Now I don't want this hyphen to be present. So something I'm writing wrong here. So to avoid that, what we can do, we can use replace function here. So I'm using replace function on top of this string. And I'm trying to find if delimiter is there in that. And if it is there, just re just remove that. So I'm just simply specifying a blank value here without any spaces. So now what happens, it will search for any hyphen that is present in this string and it will remove that. See, now no matter, you know, even if you're getting hyphen in the bin, it is trying to remove that. So this kind of functions. Now you see earlier we wrote two functions together now we are writing three functions together. First is finding the position. Second, using second, we are getting some part of the string and using replace, we are replacing the unwanted part of that. That way we can use these functions to effectively utilize, you know, these string characters. So this is, these functions are used more widely if at all you want to get some part of your string or some part from the string. So very powerful functions if at all you want to play with the descriptive data. Okay. So I I hope this, you find this video useful. If you like it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day and bye-bye.